Hands down, the easiest way to run tracks in a live performance is by using this free app that we developed called Prime. It works for iPhone and iPad, and it really is the easiest way to make a set list and to use tracks, use a click track as well, in your live performance. So let's check it out now. All right, so when you're first looking at Prime, on the right-hand side of the screen, this is your set list. You can always tap on Add Songs at the bottom here to add a new song to your set. If you want to customize the order of your set list, just tap Edit Set List and drag the song to where you want it to be. In the top left corner, there's a button that says Load Set List. So you can create set lists, save them, to access them at a later time. On the left-hand side of the screen, all these blue faders, these are the different instruments for the song. So you can turn them up, turn them down. Let's go ahead and hit play so you can kind of hear how that works. I can turn down the bass, turn down the drums, turn down the electric. There's also solo buttons if you just want to solo the drums or if you want to solo the bass along with it. So you can really customize your mix. In the bottom right corner, the red faders, this is your click and your cues. The red faders are automatically panned out of the left side of your headphone jack. All the blue faders are panned automatically out of the right side of your headphone jack. If you want to change the key or the tempo of the song, all you have to do is just tap in the bottom right corner to change the key. It's that easy. Let's just say that you want to change the tempo. I can just tap the tempo button and let's speed it up or slow it down. So let's set it back to what it was. You hit the stop button. Now, up here at the top of the, um, the screen is your section overview. So it shows you the arrangement of the song. This is really nice because then when you're glancing down at the screen, you can see exactly where you are. You can zoom in on that if you'd like, like that. You can also edit the start and end times. If you want to maybe shorten uh, the beginning or shorten the ending, you can also add a fade out right here. Now what's really great is when you're playing, let's just say that you want to loop a certain section. Well, I'm gonna hit play and there's a loop button. When I tap this button, it's going to loop the intro section one time. Notice that the cues actually changed with what I told it to do, which is awesome. If you want to loop this infinitely, just tap on the loop button twice. And now, the intro section is just going to keep looping over and over and over until you disengage the loop button. So that's a really cool feature of Prime. If you have a MIDI controller like a Looptimus, you can tap on the MIDI button and anything that you see that has a white box, box on it can be mapped to a MIDI controller for full control. What's really awesome is that too, if let's just say you're playing the verse and after the verse, you wanna go to the bridge. Well, all you have to do is just tap on the bridge and it'll go right to the bridge. Now you can change when it actually does that. In the top right corner, there's the settings menu and I can change it to be end of section after one bar or after two bars. So I had it set to after one bar, which means it waited one bar to go where I told it to go. Let's change this to end of section. So now it's gonna wait until it gets to the end of the verse to go to the bridge. Now it's perfectly in time. You can also, in the top right corner, you can choose the different sound for the cue voice. So let's just say you want um, Meredith Andrews to lead you through the song. We recorded Meredith Andrews and here now she will lead you through the song. Or let's just say uh, you need a Spanish cue. You can change it to Felipe, in Espanol. And let's go ahead and hit play and you can hear the Spanish cue. So the cues are fully customizable. 
Let's just say you also want to change the click sound. There's five different click sounds to choose from. Let me just show you what those sound like. Do you want to have a, a rim shot click sound or marimba or a beep? Or we made one that sounds like Ableton Live. You can also change the click subdivision by just tapping times two. And if for a dark stage, you could also turn on dark mode and it really just dims the lighting of the iPad. To advance to the next song, just tap next and it'll go to your next song. You can also, if you just want to click track, you can just go to add song and go to add click track and then type in the name of your song that you'd like and call this, um, you know, my song. Change the tempo, the time signature, and now you'll at least just have a metronome. So those are some of the features of Prime. It's a free app. Check it out in the App Store. We made it just for you. Hope you like it.